guys there is a lot to get to as i'm working on this new format for the texas fly fishing news report i realize that i'm probably not doing them quite often enough because this is going to be a very long report if you need to skip the news that is important to you just hit the timeline in the description or skim along with your cursor on the play line the play line right there below you just light it up and just there's little dashes on there just skip 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 Oh, we have a lot to get to. A big hybrid bite on Tawakini is one thing, but be sure to stay tuned to the end for a great tip in this summer heat. I'm having to record in the early morning, deal with all kinds of different lighting and stuff like that here in the fly bar because it gets hot very early and very soon. The window's very small for recording these. It's mid-July and plenty of Texans are headed for the Rocky Mountains, of course fly fishing high in the western states so i'll let you guys know what you're missing if you're in the west i'll let you know what you're missing here in texas on the record this news comes to you from home base in north central texas and reaches all the way down to south texas the lower laguna madre south padre island i have sources down there and uh, i can glean from the news what's going on in between Speaking of the lower Laguna Madre, it was almost completely untouched by Hurricane Barrel. Whether you know it or not, or the news tells you or not, that little horde of, of news heads went north to follow that thing that came in north into Houston area. So, South Padre Island, untouched. A seven inch surge, if you want to call that touched. So, locals on the ground there tell me that the fishing hasn't changed. Very good. It's always good down there. Come on, people. Damage in the upper coast region, it's there and it's still being cleaned up. Folks in Houston are still without electricity as I do this on July the something or other, I don't know, like the 15th or something like that. Golly guys, time is flying by. We're in the middle of July. Um, so the best bet for all of you guys going to saltwater is to know before you go. That means, that means talk to your friends or read on uh, different websites, TPWD and stuff like that, news sites, if you've got a news subscription, to see what is going on on the coast. There's damage. It's getting cleaned up. It's not as bad as it could be, but there is damage. So be sure you know the tides surge and all that has had an effect for sure, but uh, we're past that now. We should be in the settle phase now, and there should be fish. They'll be in places you never dreamed they were in, but they'll be in there. Locally, the home water for me, Lake Ray Roberts, is uh, it's completely messed up, and that's still uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One is that, of course, we had the tornado in May, and that's that's closed down some uh, some opportunities of launching your boat. Well, boat launches are still you know kind of semi open. That's about the only thing that's open. I think they just opened Jordan. Uh, they got, had Jordan open. They just opened Johnson Branch. So there's three open two on the east one on the west uh, but you better check ahead on that too because uh, it's limited access limited time so that's going on on my home waters lake ray roberts 11 miles north of here um, you can I, I did catch some bass you can see that uh, i was catching bass on a like on windblown currents that go over road beds and around points so that that can be done no, no mongo giant bass anymore up shallow like that, but they are uh, schooly, little schoolies and little uh, two-year-olds and stuff like that. So that can be done. I had a great outing with Fly Fish Forks, Alex Guthrie on Lake Tawakini. Oh my gosh, was that a fun outing. <laughs> you know me and I love the H-bombs. I call hybrids H-bombs. And that was a top water bite, as you can see. Um, Later on in this long ass report, I will show you the fly that worked for that. Pretty cool, huh? So not only did I fish Ray Roberts, I fished Tawakini and Bridgeport. Boy, what a lame time I had on Bridgeport. You know, that lake is consummately low. It runs low all the time, it seems like. And uh it was uh it did disappoint and i'm not uh unaccustomed to that I'm, I'm used to being disappointed by bridgeport i've never had just a killer time there um but bridgeport is a is a, a beautiful location west of here about i don't know 50 miles in one way and uh which is not far in texas 
and it's worth seeing you know i wish the lake was up about about five feet but it is what it is bridgeport is a place that's not crowded on a weekday by any means and uh it's challenging so if you know something about bridgeport i don't know feel free to chime in and let us know and if you're brave enough to talk about it i also spent some time on the paluxy river since my last report and that stretch that i was on has been altered considerably by the spring flows that came through and dumped metric tons of sand on what would be a habitat for beautiful sunfish there's still some there but the habitat has been just it, where it used to be rock bottom is now sand bottom so things have changed drastically and uh you know time will tell how that sand gets washed away and then perhaps maybe uh it'll return to its once former fishless place you know the, the number one rule about the paluxy river is there are no fish same thing as fight club there is no fight club speaking of clubs we're right on to clubs many texas fly fishing clubs suffer from the doldrums of the time of this time of year because everyone is on vacation and the lucky ones are fly fishing at altitude far away from texas so i will crank up the reporting this fall when things are back to normal about clubs fly tyings are all over the place um, i will try and get some concentration on that for the next report they're scheduled they're pretty regular um, tailwaters in Dallas has one there's always one going on down in uh, in Round Rock Texas at Living Waters always those guys are filled to capacity and then Dirty Water Flyco Plain Old Texas also ties flies and has gatherings all the time it's a real community stop Dirty Water Flyco check my old video on that I'll put a link to it down below and you can see my interview with Danny Salto the owner of Dirty Water Flyco the trends right now in Texas are the lakes are coming down, but the damage left behind is keeping a few of them virtually completely closed. And that may last all summer and into fall. There's, they're, not, they're not in any hurry to open these up because they get paid the same amount of money with no people. And you know, if you can have no people and get paid the same amount of money, you're probably getting rid of about a thousand headaches a week. Okay. Grapevine Lake has been down to one ramp. Ray Roberts is, like I said, down to three, and the levels are still high. Releases are huge from Lake Dallas, which is Louisville Lake. Um, this water is all running down. There's no cooperation between USACE and the state of Texas water boards and stuff like that. And there is no board, I guess, for Trinity River. Trinity River Water District's over on the other side. But uh, so we're dumping trillions of gallons of water into the gulf of mexico when texas is going through a population explosion think about that let me know what your idea is for how to have more water for texans not for yards but for the drinking water water temperatures along with the air temperatures are going up and that means that uh, our windows are smaller and in the morning we're usually i'll be off the water by noon or one o'clock in most instances this is that crazy crazy hot um, there's one lake that's on my mind right now and that's Texoma uh, whether the reports are true or not I do not know but uh, apparently there is some surface action on Texoma to go with everything else that goes on there what a great lake it's, it's, a, it's an ocean sized lake like Texoma is and the stripers there are uh, elusive I'd say they were elusive and the funny thing about Funny thing about this report, this comes comes from TPWD mostly. I haven't talked to anybody that's been there personally. Is it says if you're if you're there on the right day, these things will happen. Well, what's the right day? I do not know. It's crazy. Uh, crazy to say that. So let's wrap this up with a quick talk with Alex Guthrie, Fly Fish Fork. At the end, once we've been out all eh, just a couple hours in the morning catching uh, uh, top water hybrids. Gosh, what a great bite that was. That was so fun. You got to get a hold of this guy if you want to have some real fun on a fly rod and do that. All right, big guy. Sum it up for me. Well, uh, after I taught Shannon how to throw that fly. <laughs> That's so true. So true. If you're not, if you're looking for some action, you want to have a lot of fun. Come out here to Lake Tawakini. 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 Yeah. yeah, get it, get it. Like it's like 60 miles east of Dallas. It's easy to get to, and there's some hybrids. Uh, when you see this video, you'll see 
actually Shannon could catch a hybrid. Okay. It was amazing. Yeah. H-bombs, -H H-bombs. H-bombs, baby, H-bombs, baby. Uh, great day, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed fishing with you today. Fishing with you, man. Where, really where, where good. Where can these guys find you? Yeah, Fly Fish Fork. Uh, that's all you gotta know. Uh, YouTube is Fly Fish Fork 2023. I'm on all the social media and uh i've got a lot of videos i've got some uh, teaching videos some tying videos some uh 60 second tips lots of tips tips i yeah. like the tips i'm baby. full of somebody says i'm full of tips <laughs> <laughs> i think we're gonna get along what do you think <laughs> I, I i really had a great time i had a great right, time man. let's do it again yeah Let's yeah. go right now. <laughs> no, I'm, that's enough for one morning. One morning, oh, one wow. short wow. morning. Good <laughs> gosh, man, the H bomb. Now that we've talked to Alex, let's let me give you a tip for the heat of summer. And this tip is here for those of you, you got to drink water, you know that, right? But sometimes you still get cramps, right? hand cramps. I get cramps in my hands and my forearms. They're just insanely painful sometimes. Here it is. Consult your position, but this tip is for cramps, okay? Muscle cramps. This is called Life Flow Magnesium Lotion. Topical magnesium. Now, magnesium is not it accumulates in your body, so you don't want to go slather yourself every day with magnesium. But everybody needs a little magnesium, and this lotion will stop those cramps pretty quickly. For me, it's different people react differently to a different product. For me, this magnesium right here stops it quickly, stops those cramps almost immediately. And this is unscented, so that's great. It goes on kind of like a almost like uh, some other stuff it just it's hard you got to really rub it in to get it to go into your skin but magnesium is good for cramps and if you get cramps at night same thing keep one of these by your bed good stuff life flow I'll, I, maybe there'll be a link to it you can buy it somewhere online or something like that if there's a link i'll put it down there um that's my tip of the week guys not only can you like if you want to, you can subscribe. I wish you would watch these videos all the way through. And guess what? I have a new subscription service. That is something that is I'm, I'm offering now. And it is for people who want to take a deeper dive into two things. At least two things. Fly fishing and photography. So there, I'm going to cross over with all my years of photography. Be learning about how to photograph fish better trying to teach you guys show you guys what i'm learning about photographing fish on the job training for me and you and guess what if i get enough subscribers more subscribers we're gonna have live chats question and answers and things like that coming when we're off the water in the dead of winter i think it's going to take at least that long to build up a subscription base but to start out there are videos on the subscriber base that are there for those of you who are interested in casting i break it down into small small pieces and those of you that are into fly tying again small pieces so that you can learn about this one piece at a time put all these pieces together and have a great time not only fly fishing but fly tying and getting over the all the details and the nuances of casting a fly rod Thanks for watching, guys. I want you to have a great week. We're going to have these more often if I can possibly manage this heat. And, uh, God, it's just unbelievable. So um, look for about a 10-day turn on the next one. I'll try to get some fishing done in between. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>